Today's Eye on Health is sponsored by Goshen Health. One of the most difficult parts of life comes when the end nears. For many families, that's also when hospice care arrives. In this month's Eye on Health, WSBT 22's Bob Montgomery shows us how a local hospital helps anyone in need with a special eye toward veterans. Goshen Hospital runs its own hospice care program. It's a team approach that encompasses the needs of not only the patient with a terminal condition, but every member of the immediate family. Through the hospital's We Honor Veterans program, veterans needing hospice care get that same level of care with a special eye toward the service these veterans gave. We have had so many veterans who have come forward during the process and said, you know, I served years ago. And to have somebody now come back and say thank you, it's, it's so meaningful to them. Hospice care comes in when it's believed a patient has six months or less to live. The idea is to allow that person to stay in the home as comfortable as possible while still having their medical and other needs met. It all starts with the basics. The difficulty for families is having those discussions, really determining what does quality of life look like for them. And it's different for every patient. And so our team is dedicated to figuring out what that looks like for the patients. Goshen Hospital's hospice manager is Rebecca Alexander Lebroy. For some people that will be, I, I want to make sure that I don't have any pain. For other people that might be, listen, my granddaughter is going to be graduating and I want to make sure I'm available and make it uh, to that, make that trip. Or maybe I just want to be lucid enough that I share a breakfast with my family every morning. Helping those patients through the last stages of life typically happens with the hospice workers coming to the home. In some cases, Goshen Hospital uses telehealth to allow doctors and nurses to monitor issues like blood pressure over the phone. Hospice care is usually covered by health insurance, so there's typically little to no out-of-pocket costs for the service. For Ion Health, Bob Montgomery, WSBT 